On today's episode of Locked on Stars, I'm going to show you how Thomas Harley's improvement this season has improved the defense as a whole. Your Locked on Stars, your daily podcast on the Dallas Stars. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Howdy, Stars fans, and welcome back to another episode of Locked on Stars, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every single day. It's a pleasure to be with you. I'm Joey Erickson, former producer, a 105 through the fan, and play-by-play voice of the Chippewa Steel. Please be sure to subscribe. We are free and available wherever you get your podcast and on YouTube. And as always, thank you so much for making us a part of your day and making us your first listen. The Dallas Stars have a chance to clinch a playoff spot with a victory tonight over the Vancouver Canucks. The top two teams in the Western Conference battle it out tonight. Another late one, 9 o'clock puck drop. I am thrilled for this contest tonight. We'll preview Vancouver. We'll play shooting star on today's episode of Locked on Stars. But I want to start with Thomas Harley and how his improvements has improved the entire defense in terms of the pairings, especially as of late, some really intriguing numbers coming out of these pairings. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more right now. New customers get $200 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's 200 bucks if your bet wins. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to get started. So I came across this article from The Athletic and... It listed a few of future breakout stars on defense. And there was a couple of names out there. Brock Faber, of course, with the Minnesota Wild, who's a rookie having a a wonderful season. Jake Sanderson in Ottawa. And, of course, Thomas Harley is on that list. And they mentioned how Harley has really improved Haskinen's numbers, or at least improved his pair's numbers when they were put together. So that got me thinking, how do the other pairings grade out? Or how have they improved even as of post-trade deadline? Chris Tanev certainly has something to do with it too. And I I found it rather intriguing. But I want to begin with, Thomas Harley here. And of course, he's established himself as an everyday NHL player. And since he's moved up with Haskinen, he has really supercharged. That's the adjective the athletic used his pairing with Haskinen. And if you look at a few of these numbers, analytically, this pairing is arguably the best pairing in all of hockey. (laughs) If you just look at some of the analytics, but the eye test uh, certainly rings true with this one. I'm going to bring up this bar graph. Of course, I'll uh, be sure to explain it to all you audio only listeners, but it gives certain numbers with Miro and Harley, and then numbers when Haskinen was without Harley. So if you look at the Corsi 4 percentage, 60% with Harley. Without Harley, Haskinen's Corsi four, uh, 4 percentage is about 56%. The scoring chances, 61% Haskinen and Harley. It's down to 57% without Harley. And then you have goals 4 percentage, 61, about 62% Haskinen and Harley this season in 478 minutes. And then without Harley, this is the real drastic, drastic drop. The goals for percentage goes down to about 44%. Very, very drastic. So that just shows you some of the numbers, the elite numbers that Haskinen and Harley are having this season. It also mentions how Harley is excellent in transition play. He's one of the best rush defensemen in the National Hockey League this season. So not only does he improve the offensive numbers for Haskinen and himself, but he uh, is is really, really strong defensively, and we know that. And he's added 15 goals, which is tied for fifth uh, among all defensemen, which is a, a great little cherry on top. But then that got me thinking, 
how do the other pairs grade out? And how do some other players without their partner now, what were some of their numbers, let's say, in November or for the majority of the season? And I thought it was really, really intriguing how now, if you look at Ryan Suter or Essa Lindell, all of their numbers have improved with their new partners. They're not the same without them. And I think it really shows the stars have found their parents. They have found something that works and that they can rely on. And having Harley and Haskin in together gives you that punch. But then you look at Lindell and Tanev now. And of course, Tanev has certainly contributed to the improvement defensively. But some of the numbers for Essa Lindell without Tanev, 48% his Corsi 4 percentage. With Tanev, it's up to 54. Expected goals 4 percentage without Tanev at 53%. With Tanev at 59. Scoring chances 4 percentage without Tanev, 52. It's up to 61 with Tanev. So some drastic improvements there. And that's only 10 games. But that shows some improvement in that small sample. Now, Ryan Suter and Niels Lundqvist. This has been the controversial pairing, it seems like, for Pete DeBoer and the coaching staff. Of course, Niels has been forced into the lineup with a lower body injury to Yanni Hockenbaugh. And we haven't talked about it here recently. And I'm going to show him some love right now, Ryan Suter. I think he's played really well. He's been really, really good. I think because of Thomas Harley. Harley now plays with Haskinen. Suter does not have to play, let's say, top parry minutes. He doesn't have to play against the other opponent's top line or some of the elite talent offensively. He's on the sixth, fifth and sixth, the third pairing. And I think that's where he can thrive. He can thrive because he can still move. And I think he's playing really well. Okay. I just wanted to put that out there. Just wanted to throw that out there. Anyways, let's look at Ryan Suter without Niels Lundqvist. Corsi 4 percentage, 51. It bumps up to 54 with Niels. Goals 4 percentage, 49 without Niels with 72. 72, almost 22 points right there. Scoring chances, four. That goes up about four when Ryan Suter is with Niels Lundqvist. So, I think the Stars have really hit their stride with these defensive pairings. Harley and Haskinen, arguably the best. We know what we're going to get with them. And I can't wait for playoff time. Because Miro elevates himself. We saw what Harley could do last season. And he just had six games at the tail end of the year. And he was able to do that. Um, Now he's got a full year under his belt, a full season. My Lord, that's that's going to be something. Lindell and Tanev, your shutdown pairing. PK, you name it. Blocking shots. They'll do it all. And then Suter and Lundqvist are are your third pair that can match up with, uh, I think, a lot of opponents' third and fourth lines, uh, depending on who your first round, second round opponent is. And uh, that may be getting ahead of myself. You got to get past uh, the first round anyways. But I, I I found that really, really fascinating. How you look at Lindell and Suter without their uh, partners currently and how their numbers have really improved some drastically. And even Miro, even his numbers have <laughs> improved drastically, namely because he was playing with Ryan Suter. I, I don't think that helped him <laughs> in a lot of cases. And you add what we now think is two elite talents with, with him and Harley. Yeah, they're going to, they're going to have some pretty gaudy numbers and uh, it's uh it has certainly worked out in the favor of the Dallas Stars. So, there you go. Harley himself 
his improvement has allowed for the Stars to improve defensively as a whole. And they haven't been really, really strong, okay? I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll preface that. It hasn't been their strong suit this season. But in terms of their pairings, I think it has really, really improved. And I have to be honest, I think once Hockenpah's healthy, he's going right back into the lineup. I think he's going right back in. I don't see Neil staying in. And I would love to be wrong. I would love to be wrong, but I just, that's that's my hunch that they're going to put Hawk and Paul right back in with Suter and go from there. That's all. But the defense has improved here as of late. Gave up, what is it, two and three starts, and they, they gave up three here the other night against San Jose. In a in a weird game, once again, a little loose, but they're they're starting to to tighten up, and we're seeing better play in general. But now they get to test that out against a really really good team. <laughs> They've been taking on some bottom feeders, and they have the top team, not the top team, because the stars are now the second best team in the Western Conference. And some news came out of Vancouver. That's your dim was put on the LTIR. I'll update you on that, and we'll take a look at the Canucks here in just a moment. Today's episode of Locked on Stars is brought to you by FanDuel. Hey, Stars fans, I know your bracket is busted, okay? But don't worry about it. FanDuel has you covered. You can bet on the big upset. You can bet on the number one seed. Go dancing on America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets if your first $5 bet wins. That's $200. 200 bucks. You can use on point spreads, money lines. You can even pick who's going to win it all. Some fantastic games on the docket this weekend. Purdue, you have Gonzaga, uh, North Carolina. Who are they playing again? It it it, it eludes me, but I know that's a, a really good one as well. <laughs> so so go ahead, get Fanduel, get Fanduel, get those bonus bets. Two hundred dollars for new customers, and visit fanduel.com slash locked on, and you can start betting on college hoops. Once again, fanduel.com slash locked on, and bet on college hoops until they cut the nets down. Hey, Stars fans, are you tired of watching your conventional sport debate shows on Fox Sports or ESPN and they're constantly yelling at each other, make the switch right now because Locked On Sports Today is a free 24-7 sports streaming channel programmed for you with the biggest stories without all the screaming. Make the switch. It's free on YouTube as well as free Amazon Fire TV channels app. It's part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Some great, great stuff. Go ahead and give them a follow. Follow Locked On Stars. Hit that notification bell. Never miss an episode. Your team, every single game, a game we're gearing up for the playoffs. Stars have a chance to clinch. There's multiple scenarios, but we're going to worry about one. Win the game. <laughs> and you clinch your playoff spot. So, Stars and Canucks wrapping up a three-game season series here this evening. Vancouver won the first meeting two to nothing back in November. Stars got the best of Vancouver on home ice in overtime by a final score of four to three in December. Uh, December. So it has uh, been a while since these two teams have met. Dallas has really struggled in Vancouver recently, but one of those players that usually plays lights out against Dallas will not be available 
for the Canucks. Some news came out of Vancouver yesterday that Thatcher Dimko has been put on the LTIR. He suffered an injury earlier this March. It was not because of a setback. That's at least what they're telling the media. It was cap related. It gives them some more flexibility and they can bring up some uh, some someone up from the AHL to uh, fill a role. And of course, Dimko has been really spectacular, a, a Vesna type season, 34, 18 and two, 917 save percent. 2.47 goals against, and he also has five shutouts. So Casey DeSmith will more than likely be the starter here tonight, and he's taken over the starting job here recently. He's 3-2-1 and one, and a 899 save percentage with a 2.73 goals against average. So he uh, is still a very viable backup option, and he can uh, certainly give them some good starts. It, it looks like Demko is going to be fine, and he'll be ready for the playoffs. This is just cap related, kind of like the the stars were doing with Stan Coven, moving him up and back down just to <laughs> get some relief. Um, even if it was uh, just a, a little bit. They did bring up Arsteep Baines uh, from the AHL, and they may give him a look here tonight against the Stars, so we will have to see. But uh, Vancouver has, has been really strong. They've hit some roadblocks here in the last month or so, but they're 7-2-1 they're and one in their last 10, and we all know about their talent and the improvements they've made this season. They're 45-19-8, coming off a 3-2 loss at the hands of the Kings, but such, such a good team. JT Miller is lighting it up this season. He's their leading scorer at 91 points in 72 games. Pedersen's right there at 84. Quinn Hughes, who will be the Norse Trophy winner, I suppose, has 81 points. <laughs> Just uh, everybody. They're kind of the opposite in terms of their big guys have had monster years. Just monster years. Littered over the top 25 in NHL scoring. And then you kind of have the, the stars where everybody's having like a decent year and no one's within the top 25, but the offense is amazing. Still, the offense is incredible. <laughs> um, and, and Vancouver uh, certainly has an offense that can uh, run and gun with the stars. Uh, they're, they're fifth this season in goals four and they're fourth with goals against. They just have really, really strong defending. Plus they get great net minding uh, most nights. Uh, Zadorov is there and Quinn Hughes is so good. Tyler Myers, just a great veteran, just so many good pieces. So deep too. I'm really, really intrigued on how they'll look in the playoffs. I really, really am because they have the makings of a, a really, really good team. Um, just, just, talent up front they have some depth their their defense is really really good and they have an uh, elite netminder uh an elite netminder so uh really 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 anxiously awaiting their postseason run they got a good power play about middle of the pack at 22 percent uh, their pk is something where the stars can really get at them just 80 percent this season, which is about mid pack as well. But this is a great test for Dallas coming off a few games where you're not taking on very good opponents. What are they going to look like? I, I think the first period will be very telling. Um, and hopefully the stars are on their toes a bit and they don't walk into this one because Vancouver can, can hurt you in a hurry. Um, th their line of, uh, their, their line consisting of Garland and Joshua really dominated the stars back in Dallas in December. It wasn't even your high-profile players, but that line with, with Garland and Joshua had their way with the stars. So um, Dallas will, will certainly need to handle um, a multitude of different trios, but the stars now are kind of in their prime so to speak they're trending towards the playoffs is a much different team since december and and so are the canucks so i, I think it's just a, a great matchup two of the top teams in the western conference going at it and uh, i'm i'm just i'm pumped for this one i really really am <laughs> uh no other way to put it uh, be sure to check out the hometown broadcast on sirius xm it's the sx 
FM app and you just go ahead and search stars if you want to take a point. So no Demco, which I, I think certainly helps the uh, certainly helps the the Dallas Stars here. Um, I have to look up his numbers versus Dallas real quick because I'm pretty sure they're pretty gaudy since he entered the league. Yeah, seven zero and one <laughs> in his career uh, against the Stars. Seven zero and one. And if you take a look at the the goals against in those seven starts, he gave up four, of course, back in December, but he had the shutout um, in November. Then you have one. One, two, four, two, one, and then three. And they even won uh, a, a lot of those games, even when the Stars scored four. And uh, especially on the road, Stars have struggled. In, in a few of the road starts, just you get one goal here. They had four um, in, in 2023. And then the other uh, away games, you got one. So, um yeah, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have your fits up in uh, up in uh, BC, but uh, a lot of homecomings for some guys. Um, Logan Stancoven, of course, uh, from Camp Loops, uh, from uh, of course that region. So uh, it's a bit of a, a homecoming for him, a homecoming for Jamie Ben, and hopefully it coincides with a beautiful night in a victory. Stars clinch a playoff spot, and. We feel really, really good about where the stars are. Plus, this is game three of a four-game road trip. They've won the first two. If you win this one, oh, who cares about Seattle on the weekend? <laughs> We're dancing. We are dancing. We absolutely are. Okay, shooting star coming up. Put your answer in the comment section below. Time to pick. Who will I grace this evening? It's a late one. Get your caffeine ready. I'll tell you my answer in just a moment. Today's episode of Locked on Stars is brought to you by eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. That's what brings home the winning trophy. It is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more, whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're buying rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit. Only available to U.S. customers. All riding, shooting star. Who's going to lead the stars to victory tonight? And since the first segment of today's episode was highlighting the defense and the pairings for the Dallas Stars, it feels right to go with the defenseman tonight for the shooting star. They're not always a popular pick, but we have to show them some love. And I'm going to go with Niels Lundqvist. Niels, baby. Give me Niels. It's been a while since he's twickled the twine. Niels Lundqvist makes the difference tonight. The, the sixth defenseman comes in, tallies a goal, hopefully. Maybe a couple of helpers. I don't mind. I don't care how he chooses to pick up his points, but Niels Lundqvist for shooting star. Boom. Book it. There it is for you. Niels Lundqvist is my shooting star. Paired next to Ryan Suter. Um, it just it feels like a big night for some depth defensemen, and the Stars hopefully will clinch a playoff spot tonight. Get your caffeine ready. It's another late one. Nine o'clock puck drop. We'll talk about the game tomorrow. We'll break it down. Really, really thrilled for this one. Just feels big. Feels big 
Stars have been taking on these really, really lackluster teams. <laughs> um, no way of sugar coating that. Now they get a real test here in game number 74 of the season. A chance to win the President's Trophy. A chance to win the Western Conference. Who knows what um, is in the Stars' future. But all I know, this game matters tonight. So, Niels Lundqvist is your shooting star pick. Would love to hear your answer in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Never miss an episode. You can follow me on X at JoeyTheJet19. Follow Locked on Stars on X as well. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful week. The weekend is right around the corner. By the way, Happy opening day. The World Series champions, the Texas Rangers, open up tonight against the Chicago Cubs, which leads in right into the Dallas Stars. It's shaping up to be a wonderful evening. You got Rangers, then Stars. It could not be a better day. Man, March is such a great time, folks. It's such a great time. March Madness this week. Oh, it's just, it's got it all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully this was entertaining as you wait for puck drop tonight. We will see you tomorrow. So long, Stars fans.